As part of the basic knowledge of the switching power supplies, we would like to explain harmonics. AC power, produced by a power plant, is transmitted at a voltage, exceeding hundreds of thousands volts, in order to reduce transmission loss in the grid. Such voltage is stepped down to household voltage, through series of substations. Ideally, AC power, supplied to households and factories, has a sinusoidal waveform with no phase difference, between the current and the voltage. However, in the process of converting from AC to DC, the current distortion and the phase difference, between the voltage and current waveforms, occur in the AC power, consumed by actual devices. This diagram shows the input portion of the switching DC power supply. The AC power input, waveform A, is full wave, rectified by the rectifier diode bridge. If there is no smoothing capacitor, CO1, provided, the voltage waveform will become, as shown in waveform B. Actually, the voltage waveform is smoothed out by the smoothing capacitor, and will become as shown, in waveform C. Next, let's consider the current. When the voltage, between two terminals, of the smoothing capacitor, is lower than the voltage, of the full wave rectification voltage input, charge current flows into the capacitor. The pulse, shaped current as shown in waveform D, will flow through the capacitor. Accordingly, the current in the waveform as shown in waveform A, will flow in at the input side. As explained here, there will be a distortion in the waveform of the electric current if no countermeasures are implemented in the circuit. Consider what happens if no measures against distortion of the electric current waveform are implemented in large-scale facilities like a data center. When the electric current in the electrical energy supplied from the power plant through the grid is distorted in a certain device, all devices on the same floor may be affected by the distortion through the input AC terminals. Distortion of the electric current may thus affect the efficiency of the power distribution equipment, may cause malfunctioning of the devices connected to the power distribution network, or may affect the safety of the human body, depending on the case. So let's consider distortion of the waveform. The cycle of distortion of the current waveform, discussed in the switching DC power supply, is the same as the cycle of AC power input. Such a cyclic waveform, contains the energy components in the fundamental, and its harmonic frequencies. Here, a rectangular waveform is discussed, as an example. The rectangular waveform has odd harmonic components. This can be understood by Fourier analysis. When it is expressed on the frequency axis, the harmonics of the fundamental frequency are contained, as shown here. Although, this diagram does not indicate the 13th and higher harmonic components, much higher components are included in an actual situation. So far generation of harmonics, due to the distortion of the electric current waveform, is explained. In order to eliminate the problems, caused by the distortion of the current, the harmonics must be minimized. With respect to the harmonics, that will affect the power grid, and all connected devices, regulations in each country provide a limit, to the intensity of the harmonics. This concludes the explanation of the harmonics.